Hey guys, just bear with me as I do a voiceover for this uh, video. First off, I want you to install uh, Malwarebytes, the anti-malware program, and I'm going to switch over to that right now on how to install it. Um, unfortunately, I forgot to show how to install Malwarebytes, anti-malware, the program. So just open up your favorite internet browser, start typing anti right there you want the free version and it automatically starts downloading just give it an extra second should be good to go now pops up uh, and it's black for you I assume and you say yes you do want to allow the program to make changes and then you just install and you continue all the way through and that's all. And here we are back into it um, after you install it. Always want to make sure you update to uh, the latest version. Pretty much it, their system picks up on the new viruses being created, things like that. So simply just click update now. wait for that to go. It shouldn't take too long. It should only take uh, less than 20 seconds. Occasionally you get that error. Um, if you do, just ignore it. Um, I had to cancel the scan earlier, so that's for that. Um, you can always see, look back, and check out how much your uh, computer is being protected by Malwarebytes, anti-malware. It's pretty nice. Alright, so first off, I want you to run a scan. Just a threat scan. Um, there might be pop ups popping up left and right. Just let it go. Um, if, uh, it'll show any of the detected objects right there as they're uh, coming up. Just let it run through. It could take up to five hours to do this. Um, but just let it go. If you have a laptop, leave the lid open or else it'll pause the scan. As you can see, I tried to cancel it before it even started and it kind of screwed it up a little bit. <coughs> uh, you want to make sure you run uh, the scan once all the way through, quarantine everything it comes up with, do it again, do the scan again that is, and then also see if it comes up with anything else, quarantine all of that, and then we're going to move on to the next thing. Now I want you to uninstall a program. Go to your control panel, find it, uninstall a program. I'm going to look for something to uninstall. Uh, that one, something like that. For, let's say that's one of your popping up things. It can be listed, something like start save, and I saw that on my cousin's computer. Sometimes they're a real pain to get all the way uninstalled um, you just gotta stick with it they should uninstall really gotta find those things that aren't Microsoft aren't HP aren't Apple aren't Dell anything that seems suspicious you really should uninstall uh, just keep waiting All right, now I want you to download uh, CCleaner. Uh, it's very important that you download CCleaner after uh, you uninstall those programs because that'll what CCleaner does is it'll remove any of those the files left behind um, from those adware programs. Don't click anything else. Just wait for it. once you get to this page. It's not that big of a file, should download pretty quickly. And make sure you go through the link uh, that I show down in the, the description. So 
So there it is, set up for it. Fortunately, I already have it set up on mine, so I'm just gonna go through it real quick. Make sure everything's good there. All right, click and in, er, install. Now you don't want to see the release notes, you just want to run it, so we're good there. Finish, and it should open it up. All right, so what I want you to go through is make sure you're pretty much following what I do. Find your favorite internet browser that you're using. Uh, to check, uncheck the cookies for that, because that'll keep your passwords and save things like that. You know, it's just a pain to remember some of those. So I did Google Chrome and Mozilla because those are the only ones I use. Also want to do Office 2007. I just find it easier to find some of the files. Uh, or your office 2010 whatever version 2013 any of that then you click analyze um, for your computer it's not going to be nearly as quick as this because I've already cleaned this it can take anywhere from 5 to 30 minutes uh, when I first cleaned this it pulled out uh, about 50 gigabytes worth of information so real, really sped up my computer after I got rid of all that, and I mean, see right there, found 600 megabytes. I mean, not a lot in today's uh, day and age, but still will speed up the, the computer. So after it's analyzed, you have to make sure you click the run computer cleaner though. There it is, says it's all removed, good to go. The cleaner should be a little bit quicker than analyze. Now we want to click on the registry, make sure everything is checked. Scan it. It can have, sometimes you'll have hundreds. I think I had six or seven hundred issues before. And I mean, it's still every now and then it'll come up with some. Once it's all the way done, fix selected. I do want you to do a backup just in case. Kind of a better safe than sorry scenario here. Save it as backup reg files. Save it to your desktop somewhere just so you have them. And you're going to click fix all selected. Good. And I want you to do it again. Sometimes it won't find any, or uh, it will find them again as if it didn't delete them. So just go and keep running it until it says no issues were found. Then you're good to go. Now, lastly, I want you to open up Internet. Or, uh, internet. All right, so open up, and now I want you to search JRT. That's for uh, Junkware Removal Tool. It's a nice small program. Go to this one, the bleepingcomputer.com. All right, and I just want you to click download download now at author site. Nothing else. And it'll pop up. It, get, it takes a couple seconds, but it's there. See, it's a very small file. Now, what I want you to do is make sure you show it in the folder, and I want you to drag it to your desktop. Good with the internet. You can close that. Yep, so dragging that. There it is. Just rearrange real quick. So it's very important that you right click this and run as administrator. So run as administrator, it's going. Uh, see a little window pops up. Don't worry about it, it's nothing. Sometimes it might ask you if you want to trust it, say yes. Opens up, press any key to continue, hit space, that works fine. Now I'm going to pause the video. Uh, that That's perfectly fine. It's just a registry backup. Don't worry about it. So I'm going to pause the video real quick and come back because this will take a while. Take anywhere between 5 to, uh, say, 30 minutes. So just check on it later. 
All right, and we're back. See that it's getting down there. Um, you might notice at one point when it's, I think, checking services, that your whole background might go, uh, say, blank. Um, should be okay. Uh, worst comes to worst, if it doesn't work, you just got to do Control-Alt-Delete, start your task manager, and log off. Um, but give it some time. If it doesn't come back after a minute, then you should do the log off, um, and then you shouldn't try this again. But uh, so far, I don't think I've ever had that problem. As you can see, this is one of my older uh, times of running JRT. Pulls out, just finds all these things. Obviously, they're empty right there. It just shows that, but found all those. Just to get rid of that. We're just there. Um, so now I'm just going to show you a little example of Malwarebytes and how great it is. So, new version. I know there's adware in this program. So I'm going to go download it just to show you. Now this is, you get a 30 day free trial in Malwarebytes. Uh, I personally recommend upgrading to the Pro. It's 25-ish or something dollars definitely worth the pennies because um, it'll this you have this protection for 30 days but after that your trial ends but it'll detect these incoming things instantly and won't even let them get onto your computer so I trust this play thing so I run it install in there it is already it's seeing that it's trying to install one open candy some adware program it's not even gonna let it on my computer just click quarantine and it says it's been quarantined which is nice so now I'm gonna go to the quarantine simply go up to the top click history and there it is the thing that a quarantine you want to delete all and you're all set now I really do hope that you guys find this uh, video helpful. Uh, I'm really trying to save you guys some money here, save yourself a trip, the headaches and whatnot, and you just gotta stick with the process, you know. It'll be hard at first, but if you follow my instructions, they're pretty clear, uh, typed out right in the description. So if you have any questions, give uh, just comment, and I'll see if I can get back to you as quick as I can and hope your computer does better thanks for watching